Paris Lovejoy was born in Albion, Maine on the 9th of November, year 1802. He was educated at Waterville College and later moved to St. Louis, Missouri. He became a licensed Presbyterian preacher. And the editor of the religious journal, The Observer. Lovejoy was in the midst of a huge movement, the abolition movement. This campaign fought for the freedom of the African Americans from the forced chains of slavery. The movement started in the 1600s with few abolitionist meetings, then escalated into the Civil War. In the town of St. Louis, he met Celia Ann French. He married his love on March 4, 1835. At his job for the Observer, Lovejoy expressed his anti-slavery views. These views created tensions between abolitionists and slave owners. Lovejoy witnessed a lynching of a free African American. The follow-up trial acquitted the obviously guilty leaders of the crime. Horrified by this undertaking, Lovejoy published a full account of both the mob and the trial. Owners were upset by Lovejoy's threats of his life forced him to leave from his town of St. Louis to Alton, Illinois, 25 miles away and across the Mississippi. To further express their opposition, townsfolk smashed and threw the newspaper's printer press unguarded on the Alton dock into the river. When local citizens heard of this heinous act, many pledged to raise enough money for a new one. But he was not discouraged. In his new town, he continued to illustrate his passionate anti-slavery ideas still under the newspaper, The Observer. Opposition did not fame. Townsfolk then proceeded to destroy his second press. When he refused to stop his controversial actions, the townsfolk destroyed his third printer press. This action caused Lovejoy to write his famous line of We distinctly avow it to be our settled purpose, never, while life lasts, to yield to this new system of attempting to destroy, by means of mob violence, the right of conscience, the freedom of opinion, and of the press. Lovejoy's fourth printer press was kept under jurisdiction of the mayor in a warehouse. Fifty of Lovejoy's friends and supporters came together to guard the press. For protection, they were armed with guns. On November 9, 1837, a mob of about 20 to 30 furious citizens stormed the premise. Lovejoy was shot five times and died within the hour. Still not satisfied, they burned down the warehouse. His death sent as a shockwave throughout all of America. He was the subject of many sermons and columns in the North. John Quincy Adams wrote that his death gave a shock as of earthquake throughout this continent. Elijah Parrish Lovejoy became a martyr, not only for the abolitionist cause, but also for the freedom of the press. Lovejoy was an inspiration to all those fighting for the termination of the tyrannical maltreatment of all slaves.